This is our robot, Digit. It does a lot of different useful things in the world. There are hundreds of companies here and everyone who attends has a different goal. I'm here to explore and learn about any product or company that grabs my attention. The first is Agility Robotics, as their demo is about to begin. This is my first time seeing robots at this scale, so I'm excited to see the technology in person. It's a human-centric, multi-purpose robot. We're starting by picking up totes and bins and warehouses and moving them other places. This makes me feel safer, you know, robots aren't going to take over the world just yet. It fell quite a few times, but it was still pretty cool to see. I feel like I'd rather hire a slava, you know? <laughs> to give it credit though, it was the robot's first time in the environment. With warehouse-orientated activities and a familiar environment, it probably operates better, but personally I think humanoid robots in industry isn't the most efficient form factor. It also just looks kind of creepy. A few exhibits away is Intuitive Surgical Robot, and I have the opportunity to test out its functionality. I'm operating the machine using two controllers. It's a really interesting perspective to place myself into the shoes of someone using this technology, as it has a genuine positive impact on the world. The company did 2.4 billion in revenue last year, and it's valued at over 170 billion, so they seem to be doing quite well from this. On the other side of the venue, Agile Robotics is also using hand-operated controllers, but they're using haptic gloves. I did ask to test out the machine, but I wasn't allowed to due to NVIDIA safety rules. If I took the gloves from this, walked a couple of minutes to the open BCI stand, I think I could get pretty close to building the Ready Player One setup. And then he built it. He gave us a place to go. OpenBCI have an F1 racing simulator where the headset that's being worn is tracking a huge range of data from the driver. I was quite into F1 a couple of years ago and I feel like devices like this that a driver could train on would help build those 1% gains. They also spoke about how it could be used for entertainment. Maybe one day I'll direct a film that uses this kind of tech. That would be pretty cool. For that screening I'm also going to need drinks. And at the Microsoft booth, Artly has robots mastered in barista skills, creating coffees with art. Has a what? Yeah, it has beans. Yeah. Like a Americano? Now, they can make coffee, um, and it's got grit. <laughs> <laughs> what else can it do? I'm also imagining the future, where you take the autonomous car Waymo for a trip, and you ask it to make you a drink on its arrival. The most famous exhibit from the hall, however, is the 1X Neo humanoid robot. I'm watching as it vacuums the carpet and waters the plants. Yo, before you go, can, can I get a selfie? Nah. Can I get a selfie? Just real quick, come here. Make closer. Wait, wait, one second. Five, five seconds. You ready, come? Yeah. Very sick, please. Yep. Thank you, Thank you. I realized that I started to treat it like a person, and I think that's because it's a lot more peaceful and calm looking than the agility robot from earlier on. Although I think the motion is still off-putting. I met Jim Cramer. And Bill Poole has no idea what it's like out there. Nuts! They're nuts! They know nothing! Who was showcasing the Disney robots. The way they move is so fluid, and I think more people would want a humanoid in their house if they replicated this style. Overall, the event was good. There was a lot there, but mostly I got captured by the robotics. I visited some other companies, had a luggage tag engraved, and my face drawn by a machine. I think they've still got a long way to go with robotics, and humanoids might not be the answer for practicality, but the best part is, this is the worst that they'll ever be. So it's only going to get more interesting as time goes on.